Welcome to the channel, this is Barrett, and today we're going to take a look at what some Pokemon booster boxes have been selling for. So, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you what is the current market prices for these boxes, and then you'll see what they have been selling for, both at auction or best offer. And then, as we like to do here on the channel, we're not only going to see at US recorded sales, but you'll see some boxes that have been sold in the U, in the UK, and in Australia. So let's get started. The first one, as you probably guessed, was the best of XY, a Japanese box, which the only recorded auctions that we've had in the past was this past October for $2,125, and then another one for $2,700. And as you can see here, the last one sold for $2,280 at auctions. Next one up is Ancient Origins Booster Box. As you can see here, the last two recorded sales were at 1000 in November this year, and then we've had one a few days ago for $800. And as you can see here, there's only 13 listings for these boxes, starting at $167. And we've seen this week one sale for £779.99 which corresponds to just below 900 euros and just below a thousand dollars. And we've also seen one selling at auctions in the US for $945. So it seems like the one in the UK has sold for basically the same amount, a bit of a premium, which is something we would expect, roughly just a 5% difference. The next one up is a team up box, which sold in the European Union for 1,780 euros. And as you can see here, we've had one for sale at 1,700 euros. However, the seller has zero references and the next one up is for sale at 2,000 flat. Now, not sure if the box sold to another European country or it went overseas. However, we are seeing how it has basically sold for the same as what it is selling in the US. Next one on the list is Unified Minds, and this sale is pretty interesting as, as you can see, the market price is roughly a bit above $600 at 629, and we've seen one selling on December 26th for $485 shipped at best offer. So quite below market price. Not sure if this box was damaged or something, it doesn't say on the title. However, it is a significantly lower price than what we are seeing on this G player. Next box is a Burning Shadow box which sold in the UK for £356.71, which equals to $450 roughly and 410 euros. Now, I've talked actually about Burning Shadows last week in one of my videos, which I recommend to take a look at. As well, if you're enjoying this type of content, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more, I would highly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated to everything I bring onto the channel. We've also seen a pretty interesting bundle for three Sword and Shield booster boxes in the European Union. Now, from the picture, it seems like they were Brilliant, Silver Tempest and Lost Origin and they sold at best offer for 350 euros plus 22 for shipping, which is equal to about $410 and 321 pounds. Next one up is a Crimson Invasion booster box, potentially the set being known to humankind as one of the worst set in Pokemon history, which sold for 200 pounds at best offer in the UK which seems to be what it is selling for in the US. And despite the fact that it is known as not one of the greatest set in Pokemon history, we can see how this has been going up for the past year for about $30, which is actually a 20% gain. Next one up is a pretty interesting sale. We've seen 36 booster packs of Champion's Path going at auction for a total of 245 pounds shipped, 
which would be equal to $312 and that would be equal to about $8.60 per pack which seems to be pretty much a bit below market price and considering you got a booster box worth of packs it would also be in my opinion a pretty good display to have in your collection we're back to the burning shadows videos as we've also seen one box selling in the u.s for 350 dollars on pwcc and then we've seen another one selling for 360 pounds in the united kingdom so it seems like people have been actively buying this set jump into vintage boxes we've seen an ex sandstorm selling for 10257 us dollars at auctions now what is pretty interesting is we have two recorded sales one in 2022 and one in 2021 now if you think about that the end of 2021 this was december 12th was pretty much correct me if i'm wrong the peak of pokemon and then here in july we've seen one selling for quite the same price it looks like this box has been doing pretty well over this year and a half now a bit of a, an exotic auctions we've seen a 151 korean case selling at auctions for a thousand and eight dollars which i'm not sure if that's a good price or not however it is quite interesting to see how we are seeing some movements also in the Korean market. Now, next one, finally, a sale from Australia. We've had a booster box of Evolution selling for a thousand AUD flat, which is equal to $680. And that was a best offer accepted. As you can see, this is selling for roughly $800 us dollars in the us so it seems like the guy got a pretty good deal next one up had to be evolving skies now there have been a lot of sales this past week for evolving skies all over the world us uk australia the eu everywhere i'll just show you a couple we've had one in the european union selling for 421 euros shipped at best offer and then we've had another one selling in the UK for 385 pounds, also a best offer. And it seems like they're both selling a market price. And then I threw in there, as it sold back to back, a Sword and Shield base in the UK, which sold for 170 pounds, which once again is roughly 216 US dollars. Now we're getting towards the end of the video. We've seen a Cosmic Eclipse booster box selling in the UK for 820 pounds at best offer and it looks like it was a bit above market price at least what is considered market price in the US as they are selling for roughly 850 dollars whereas this box sold for the equivalent of 1044 dollars so it looks like once again this type of higher hand boxes when they are selling outside of the us tend to bring a premium which is what i have been trying to show here on the channel now moving back into the sword and shield era we've seen a rebel clash booster box selling in australia for 534 australian dollars shipped which would be equal to 363 us dollars now that one sold a best offer and we are seeing as this box is going for about 240 US dollars in the United States. So not sure if the buyer just overpaid or else it just carries a huge premium in Australia. And then ending this video with a first edition fossil booster box, we see how the last one on auctions sold on September 25th at 9,000. Four hundred and sixty-six dollars, and we've seen one selling on PWCC at auction for nine thousand and nine hundred dollars. So this is going to be it for today. Let me know if you enjoyed this format. I just want to focus on sealed products, and most importantly, I wanted to show you boxes that are selling all throughout the world. 
as if you probably are familiar to the channel, I'm in the EU and I like to show the difference between the American and the European market and I don't mind throwing in there also what happens in Australia and in the United Kingdom. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing and join the Discord, the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.